Um, yes, the recording is on and it's recording. So don't worry about the recording. This will be there. So go ahead and uh, start about the discussion about how to convert this API project into our framework. Okay. So the status is on going. We need to take that only. Yeah. The yeah, uh, Jita. I can't hear you properly. Actually. Yeah, bit. Yeah. Are you continue? So, are you people connecting in the evening session? I mean, like, no, 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 no. That seems from the one week we are not connecting. So, have you people created this? Would anyone uh, I mean, if at all, if you have time, uh, could anyone connect in the evening session? I mean, uh, let me know how to do this. Uh, this. Because all this concept API, actually RA, JRA is very new to me. So even uh, in the UiPath itself, I'm not able to understand that one. So yeah, concept, so Vajran said, right, uh, you, we need to watch uh, his videos on his uh, channel. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, so uh, we first, you watch those videos. If you have any doubt, you can ask uh, Vajram. He said uh, before he start, started the API topic, he said to us that we need to check those uh, YouTube uh, videos, and if we understand, we we can. I mean, we can try one of uh, the use case also. Whatever he's, uh, yeah. So no, the, if if we try that one, we will get more easy. We will get uh, easily. Um, I mean, understand easily while he's creating a new uh, project. So, man, more time waste here for that. But let's do. Let's discuss on dispatcher and performer. Silent. Everybody is calling. So, guys, I am sharing my Pallavi, screen. Yeah. It okay? Please share. Yeah, it's okay. Pallavi. Please share your screen. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, please get the latest code uh, from the version repository. Latest code. Yeah, I can do that. But uh, also, I what I can do is um, I have my code also. Okay. Better, no, you pull from version and uh, show that no? because I hope your code is running fine right, without any issue. Is that correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then open it then. Yeah, if, if you guys uh, want that uh, code also, I can do that. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, we want that code. Yeah. Just let me that. Know, uh, let me just cancel no, this. You, if you do with this also again, Vajrang will ask to do that code. So again, again, we have to work again. So it's better to open that code. Yes. So please give me one second. Mm -hmm. So sure, take your time. No problem. Let, is, uh, is my screen stopped now? Yes, it is stopped. We can't see your screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am closing my WhatsApp. That's why. <laughs> okay. Ajita uh, will do one thing actually. Uh, these holidays uh, during Thanksgiving and all, we'll do in detail study about APIs and uh, everyone will connect and we'll discuss about APIs. Don't worry. Actually, we are at, so at the initial stage only. Uh, even I didn't know much about that. So... Uh, before telling or uh, sharing anything to the team, I should do, do well, then I can share with you. 
So I am I I am downloading this. Okay, are you able to see my screen, guys? Yes, very good. Okay. So assignment two generate. Okay. I need to FDA Jason array API project. Which one I have to download now? I think Jason array only. It is showing to nineteen hours, right? You can pull it now directly. Yeah, the... We don't know which one it is. Don't it? Okay. It is committed, right? Okay. I don't know how to download the code. So okay, you, I was you, just yeah, checking. See, can you please guide? Uh, what, wait, wait. What Jan mentioned, he added uh, this code to his report. You, you can direct it. See, uh, go to this uh, desk. Uh, get to desktop. Okay. Okay. Uh, charging. Full charging. Yeah. Full charging. Do that. Okay. Once it's ready, open in File Explorer. Copy that use case or project and uh, copy to your local. Then we'll work on that. Okay. Okay, so I okay. I did that. Okay, now what what next? What you need to do is main branch. Right, open the Git uh, file path where you configured Git. You mean uh, I need to go to the uh, file explorer? File explorer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or file? Yeah, where Git can be. I have found that. Refresh of going to Watchlands. It's working on Watchlands. Yeah, it's not in Watchlands, uh, no, no, no. right? I... You need to open in Watchlands. In the video, you mentioned. Okay. okay. Yes, I added that project to his folder. Watchlands. Open that yesterday, but okay. That means you have not uh, did the charging. Go to GitHub Desktop again and do the. To now uh, he just uh, he said that glory's uh, code we can take the tag right no in the yesterday video i have watched that video he uh, he sent a video at night so almost 10 10 30 a i think pm nst you have to do fetch charging jason Hey. First thing you need to do fetch upstream in GitHub. Do fetch upstream in GitHub. Go to code. Go to code. Fetch upstream. Where I'm not. Okay, just wait for a minute. The last commit was with uh, Glory. Okay, just wait for a second.
Let me see it now, refresh it once, everyone. Okay, yeah. go to your fork. See, if you want to see any changes, you need to go to your fork, not mine. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Then you will see fetch upstream. See fetch upstream on the right side. Fetch it much. Yeah, that's done. Now you can go ahead and uh, make a push pull request. <coughs> okay, so uh, from from where I can do that because uh, I didn't get here. See pull origin. There are 22 pulls you haven't done. The top you are getting right. Pull origin. Yeah, I did that just now, but. Fetch origin. Okay. Done. Go back to your uh, local um, folder path. So. Um, Open my folder. I told you. My folder, Vajrang. See the API project. Okay, you can use the first one. Copy that to your local. Pallavi, uh, copy it to your local and work on that. So Vajram, uh, I am having uh, some problem. I can't. Uh, this is a, I can copy in my default folder. Can I do that in OUFR here? You can do. You can do. Right, Vajram? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So open that you can get all the changes. Yeah. <laughs> How are you planning it to convert it to performer and dispatcher? Uh, actually, we need to plan on the task capture, I think. So it will give us, uh, uh, I mean, we can get an idea easily. I mean, it will help to okay. understand how, what is the flow. See, we, cannot, <coughs> we cannot extend our okay. class today. So whatever you do, do it first. Okay. Uh, Team, this is my approach. Can you just suggest me or should I go? Oh, okay. So I am getting this uh, message. Uh, I think uh, is this a version problem, Vajram, or? Uh... Yeah. 
use minus packages oh. and add all the HTTP activities here for HTTP. Okay. Yeah, now it's okay. So should I invoke this? Uh, <coughs> when you guys are going into code, you don't have any idea or you don't you didn't come up with any plan. All of a sudden you'll go into code and do what? Yeah. So is Please, uh, team, we need to discuss on this. I want everyone to participate, <coughs> not only one. Yeah, but they are not. Uh, if they are not, they are not if they, yeah. we cannot complete it. Sorry, this is a team project. It's not your individual project. Yeah. My name is uh, responsive and strange. Why we are here, <laughs> guys? <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know this much concepts. I'm just learning, right? So that is the reason I'm in here. Or else I would have spoken. Rani, about it's not about knowing a concept. It's about telling your idea. I know that everyone doesn't know any concept here. To at least know your idea is true or not, or if it is if it will work or not, you need to talk about it. Else, how will you know? Yeah. And I want it from everyone. Uh, during dispatcher, uh, we need to take that uh, JSON array file. Yeah, we need to uh, HTTP request first. Yes, uh, we need to go to that. Uh, <coughs> in init all applications, uh, we have to mention that URL. Yeah, just just to create a process. Uh, I mean, just create a diagram first. So, or else what you can do instead of doing this, uh, go to our teams. There is a whiteboard okay. that everyone can access. Yeah. We go with that. Okay. One. So. Should I create a new file or? Uh... You can use the existing one. <coughs> That's good. If you have any. No, we don't have any. I think yeah, so. Create a, or else uh, go to Teams Note 4. Team Notes 4. Team Notes 4. Team Notes 4. Okay. Here, we already have it item, right? Notebook. Yeah, yeah. The girls. Create a separate section. Separate section, not that, not that, not that. So on the left side, there are three options, right? Menu option on the left, below, above, search. Yeah, that's navigation. Okay, add a new page, add a new section. 
from the bottom. The bottom. Okay, add a page. New section. Yeah. Process discussion should I? Yeah, keep it. Prop process. Keep it. Keep it. So now everyone have the access. If you want to do something on that, go ahead and do it. Yeah. Okay. So, what's the plan? It's not right. Right, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. First thing is, you people are not even talking. Yes. And next week, uh, I'll give you a project to work on. <clears throat> where I will not be involved much. Uh, Siddha, Akash, Vijaya, and Glory. Please, uh, team. Do one thing. Give it to someone else. You already have the access, right? All the team members have access. Give the remote control or uh, ask someone to share yeah. their screen. Yes. So, if anybody requests, I can give, right? I mean, the it will they will they need to send the request. No need to give your access request. Let them share their screen. Okay. Mahesh, can you do it? Oh, but I need uh, support from everyone. See, everyone needs support here. That's what I'm saying. And I'm there to support you. If you start something, then I will support you. Do you yeah, want yeah. me to kickstart you? Yeah. That's not required, right? Do mistakes. Okay. What's wrong in doing mistakes? Yeah. Am, I your am I your school teacher to hit you back whenever you do your mistake? No, no, no. Okay, then, uh, uh, Pallavi, uh, if you stop your, uh, sharing the screen, then I can share. <coughs> you can directly share your screen, I think. Uh, let me uh, cancel this. Okay, I did that. Yeah, you can share. You guys can uh, see my screen, right? Yeah. So can I directly go into the uh, local folder to run that file? Uh, you need to at least first. Or do I need to uh, pull uh, pull request again? We are going into the code first. Uh, Mahesh, we have to come up with the plan how we can do step by step uh, in normal English language. So then we can proceed further regarding coding and all. So, do you want do you want us to open the uh, task? Uh, yeah, in team notes, uh, Vajrak suggested, right? There we can write simple, simple steps. Uh, then we right. can go for task capture and all. We have, uh, I added a section, right? 
Okay. Yes, sir. We have to add section. It's already there. Right, like uh, <laughs> API dispatcher. Oh, there is already a page process already, discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Down, 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 down. Uh, uh, yeah. Double click on this. It's not getting open. It is there. There is. I think Vajrang is doing. Uh, I'm, I'm not doing it. Who is that? Actually, I have typed this uh, flow. Thanks. Thanks. So everyone don't open. I edit at a single. Uh, like if you see here. Give me the access width. <coughs> Everyone don't edit in a single uh, place. Like if you see here, uh, this is a separate section. So don't type in here. So if you want to type in, click on somewhere else. And there will be a separate uh, section that will start. And there you can type if you want to type. Or else you can, only Mahesh can type it. Yeah, Mahesh, go ahead. So can I continue from this? Others, please stop. My issue took you can directly go. Complete. So Vijaya, here we need to first navigate to that uh, uh, Endpoint, right? I mean, URL. Where you are asking? First I'm ask yeah, first to manaki, the open jay or the ground. We need to open that uh, uh, web, I mean, web application, right? Yeah, HTTP activity should be used. Yeah, after that, deserialize jay, manaki, we, we got the j j Jason of uh, ED. Speak in English for me. <laughs> so, Ante, sorry. I yeah. don't know why. <laughs> yeah. So, after that, uh, we can check the status. If there is an ongoing. Um, Maybe, uh, can you please. Uh, Start on the beginning uh, so that I can uh, write it here. Okay. So first, can you just make somewhere else that block because it will. Yeah. So uh, first, we need to navigate to that uh, URL first. Yes. After that, while we are working with HTTP requests, there are no navigations. There are only get requests and put request. We use okay. verbs, get request, put request, post. Yeah. These are the verbs. Yeah. OK, yeah, sure. So we need to get the, uh, what we can say? HTTP request. Then we need to decentralize the like, JSON. Can you mention like uh, we need to get the HTTP request from where? 
from URL. You need to run, mention the URL. Copy and paste the URL. Which URL? FT. A team, I am not here for the two three minutes. Okay, I'm going on a mute. Vijaya, can you tell me what is that URL? Yeah, I'm I'm helping you. Uh, API dot FDA dot GOV. GOV. Can you please call, add it in the chat? That will be easier, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it is not allowing me to access the chat. Uh, someone can. Where are you joining as a guest? That's okay. Actually, I didn't know. That. See, now you can access. <coughs> Ajita, can you please share that uh, URL yeah. in the chat? In the in the chat in the chat right. Okay, I already shared it. Ask this question like Sushant, are you there in the call? Yes, Swajrang, I'm there. I didn't ask that question. See, everything that you're doing in this current training program, you're the activity software developer. First, starting with the initial discussions uh, with respect to the project, checking if the project can be automated or not. Second, preparing the PDD and density if uh, business analysis is not available. Then writing the code. Um, preparing a solution design document. Providing demos to the customers and internal teams. And creating uh, books for uh, how to execute this process. And a deployment. So all the activities will be of a developer's activity. We need to uh, get the HTTP request in the URL. And after that, we can uh, uh, deserialize the JSON, I think. See, don't write the steps, please. That's not required for a documentation. Not those steps here. I mean to say, like deserialization, assigning it to one variable. I said those steps you need not write for a documentation purpose. If you see that structure or if you see those sentences, you should get to know what is complete project. Uh, extracting uh, JSON data and converting into object. Can we write like that? Yes, you can. Yeah, then write uh, extract JSON data uh, 
and convert into J object. J object. Uh, the you have to write nearby J object single term. Yeah, correct. Uh, step. Uh, uh, Create one data table. I asked you not to create a code here. Okay, okay sorry. Adding oh, no, no. into this, the this queue. Is, this will be a, like uh, the request from the business, right? This is what you need to understand and give it back to business. Oh. If business asks you or if they have uh, shown you something, then you should say what are your understandings. You cannot say to business that OK, I have a JSON. I will convert into data table. I will create four columns. By the bloody hell, business will need to understand. This. So can we do this? I mean, we are adding into the queue or uh... Like that, um... So tell me one thing. <coughs> to whom are you creating this document to first get that information correct? Is it to a business user? Is it for a developer? Business user. For developer. Developer. Okay, let's assume it for a developer. Business uh, understand like if I think I'm mean, in my perspective, I okay. don't know. So business can't understand J understand J object, that's fine. So if it is a developer, do you need to write each and every step like okay, assign counter variable, assign uh, skip variable, no. assign data table? So what a developer should know? What a developer should know? Tell me that. Uh, developer so the requirement from the business uh, like who is going to give us the uh, task like uh, overview of the process flow the developer should understand well before doing any development okay <clears throat> go ahead go ahead answer i'm not stopping you so we need to uh, store somewhere else right so we can uh, can't be right here uh, adding to into the queue or uh, you can like go that. ahead Can you write the, this my this point? Not save. We can't write like that. I mean, save the. J object data or JSON data? J I think it should be a J object data because we have already uh, converted the JSON data. The yes, object. yes. J object. Okay. 
where we are storing that uh, we need to write the complete sentence change anything in what i'm doing whatever you want to do it in your uh, section okay then it's teacher and the ball vijay i think uh, one uh, one thing we should understand like why we are uh, preparing these steps and uh, to whom we are going to uh, provide so if we understand that concept then uh, we can write it yeah as a team okay. before developing we should understand how we are going to implement that so we are preparing step by step okay so we have the uh, <laughs> we have the requirement from the business so yeah with that document we are preparing like we are preparing the uh, to be document here and again we are uh, taking uh, like giving this document to the business so this is how we are going to uh, work the process right actually vajrang has to correct us so we are, i am thinking like uh, this is for internal purpose uh, uh, as a team of developers how uh, we are able to moving further to complete one task uh, in the form of dispatcher and performer that's what we are discussing here uh i think this is i am thinking mainly for the team of developers but uh, i am not sure vajrang will correct us see in the in your project or while you are working in your client environment will vajrang be available to correct you no who will be there to correct you Uh, we should have team like uh, solution architect, business analyst. See, leave your solution uh, architect and business field. analyst. Your next developer can help you. People who are yeah. already there in your team can help you. So you are struggling to talk to your team members. Your yeah, team, please uh, come up with your ideas. so we can uh, write further steps see the shivam akash thank you alluri is there arnath arnath chala sorry guys i am not here for the past five uh in the third point uh, store the j object data in respective folder we should store in excel file only no it's not folder i think so the j object is in the excel file only right? after converting yes. it to yes then 
the, the, and the, the same document will be stored in somewhere else. We can't have that. Okay. Is anybody telling you something? Yes, yes. After I'm going to school, can you hear me? No, your voice is not uh, audible properly. I think uh, that step we can do in performer, right, Azita? Uh, Main processing. Okay, check with the information that I have provided. Tell me if that information will be enough for a developer to start with the development. I think yes, uh, it's enough for developer. Last line I didn't understand. Turn it to through business rule exception. So we are throwing a business rule exception and saying that this request is not required to be processed. So we are not filtering the data. Upfront. Yeah. Can we make a HTTP call? So we have seven minutes. So let's discuss on this, please. First thing, dispatcher. What dispatcher activity should be done? Or dispatcher process flow should be doing? So all it need to do is it need not process any request or it need not work on new data. It need to just fetch the data and it need to push it to orchestrator. Yeah. Performer is separate flow where uh, once we have the information, it will check all the information and it will check with the status. If it is ongoing, add it to Excel. If terminated, throw a business rule exception. Last year in that the request is terminated. Simple steps. Yes, very clear <coughs> and very easy to understand. These are enough. See, don't overcomplicate the things. That's not at all required. Yes. Okay, now if you want to create code, dispatch and performance separately, how will you do that? See, there are two ways a dispatcher can be inside an RE framework directly in the first run, or dispatcher can be a separate process flow. Directly in the first run, there can be a separate process flow. What is your idea? What is your idea? Someone is saying what flow should be.
so how much time will it take for us to create this project both dispatch and performer Forty-five minutes or one more. If we discuss and we create together, so. okay. Let me share my screen then. Okay. So do we have the code already ready? We have the code already available, right, with us? We have created it. Yeah. <clears throat> so here we I will... Can, uh, workflow, we can drag and drop here with that workflow, I think. We can do that. The other thing that we can do is... Once we have this RE framework, uh, we can use the RE framework. In the first run, we can add a dispatcher. In the process flow, we can use it as a performer. <coughs> okay. Starting the main. See, there are few changes with RE framework now. Process is moved to framework folder. Okay just get to know those things i'm creating a separate video for it but uh meanwhile just open the main file from main file you can anyhow navigate So I have eight minutes or two minutes. Let's see what we can do. So framework I'll open. I will add everything to my framework folder. So what will I add? FDA project. Let's go ahead and see the changes. I hope they should be ready. But to my understanding, what first we need to do, we need to add all the items to orchestrator first. Is it correct or not? Yes. Yes. So for that, what I'll do, I'll right click here and I'll create a separate, like all the code files, I will create in a separate FDA folder so that I can have a segregation. Okay. Next. Add sequence. The add items to you. In the data folder, I have config. For now, I will leave it as is. So here I have some value. So, <coughs> excuse me. building data table, skip all these values, I need not worry now. But what I need is I need to add items to a data uh, orchestrator queue. That's what I need. So if you can see here, there is skip limit as well, writing range. So what are the activities that I require for this particular sequence from this particular sequence is what i need to see i'll copy everything in down to it here i think there will be some issues with respect to manage packages oh, 
once we uh, download the uh, why we need to download again this is a separate project i am creating uh -huh. no i am asking about my studio in my studio i uh, did uh, download yesterday and today i was uh, again working on that uh, it, it's not uh, there the package installed just checking it or uh, try to replicate the scenario ideally it should be there yeah i i just so actually uh, for me also happened the same much thing yesterday i have downloaded and worked on it today if i open yeah. the same i didn't find that package what i already installed exactly yeah this one web api package see mostly you might not have saved it just check it again so let's just copy this paste it so first thing building data table is not required skip value i require here making http request is required deserializing json is required assigning the total is required so all these activities are required ignoring is not required and filtering is not required deserializing json array properties jr items right so these are all the items that i can have so i can just copy and i can add it in the for loop So in the for loop, what am I getting? I'm getting assign all these values. So instead of this, or in, I can, I need not add data row because this is not a performer. So for each item in the JR items, what I need to add is I need to add a add queue item. Add queue item. So someone have already asked how can I add directly an item into in progress state? For that, you need to use the in add transaction item. This will give you a transaction item as an output. But here, add queue item will just give you, it will not give you any output. It will just add it. So this is an important interview question. Just check that. So if you see here, uh, there is item information collection and these values. For now, I'm going to add only one thing that is status. But you can add more. Two string. So what is it telling? It's not. It's asking me to give me a new name. So I created a variable. I can uh, argument. I'm giving it as an in argument. Q name. Not considered a Q name. So do I need to add all these values? Yes, I need to add all these values. But for now, I'm not adding. I'm just adding it to a queue. So how many items do you think uh, it will be adding? Thousand. It's not just thousand. It's looping into all the items. We have the while loop, right? To loop in with all the items. Yeah. So there is a 2700 something. Whatever it is, it will add everything. Yeah. So I can just add a log stating that the 
just to make sure that uh, we have completed the activity. <clears throat> so in the initialization state in the first run, see how many times do we need to add uh, items to the queue? Is it once or every time? Once. Okay, so if I add anything in first run, it will be executed only once. Is it correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. So what I can do here is I can just drag and drop add items to the queue. And I can just give here config of. So Vajran, if uh, we are doing entire in I mean dispatcher in entire RE framework, so we need to down uh, edit that uh, transaction data and transaction item. So there is no need to edit anything because everything you are adding it to orchestrator queues. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah. in get transaction yeah. data, get transaction data will get you one queue item. Hmm. Okay. Now in the process flow, see in the process flow, where is this framework? So what I will do in this process flow is same thing. So process flow will be executed for each and every item, right? Yes. So again, I will copy all the data, all the information, and I will remove whatever is not required or whatever I have already added. So just remember one thing. If you add build data table, every time you do a transaction, Will a new data table will be created every time? <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So I will leave this to you. So check that and uh, get me a solution for that. So um, uh, this uh, HTTP request is already added to orchestrator. Like all the data is already updated. We have so updated data to, table. Uh, mm -hmm. You have the data table, but for now, all the items are already added to orchestrator queue, right? Yes. In process queue, what do we need to do? We just need to check if that particular status is ongoing or not. Ongoing. Exactly. So, for that, can we write an if condition? Yes. If condition we have written. And in transaction item dot specific content of status dot posting equal to ongoing. If it is ongoing, <clears throat> add to a data table or not? Add data row. And once we updated a data row, what should we do? We write it right the, into Excel, Excel file. Yes. So there are two ways. We can complete all the transactions and we can write it. Or else there is an also an option called append range. append range. So if you are using append range, you can have build data table here. Because every time it creates a new data table, it adds it and it will write it or append it. So can't we put that data table in first run also? We can keep, but you need to send in arguments, move arguments, change in out arguments, all those things you need to do. Okay. So here is one value properties. Yeah, so, uh, we can do that also, right, Vajran? And uh, right, and we can write it in the end, uh, end process, an Excel file. It will write. See, that's what 
<coughs> let's assume that after completing 100 items, the process failed. If you want to mm. write it in the end process, then whatever data you have written will be destroyed or you cannot access yes, it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you need to mm. see that one as well. You cannot just yeah. go ahead and bluntly add everything. See what are the mm -hmm. positives and what are the negatives of adding some data or information. So here we are getting this value city. So, okay, I'm leaving it for you guys to sort out. I will raise bugs. So, this is the code. The code is completed if you ask me. All you need to do is you need to update it properly. So see here, variables are not created, and here instead of item, it should be specific content in transaction item of specific content. Okay. So let me just push commit. So how much time did it take to complete it into a skeleton if i have the code already 10 minutes 15 seconds that's it right yeah so i feel that should be enough yes so how are the basics proper like okay if you have the complete idea of what your project is going to do mm -hmm. then it will not take much time okay this is not working so Please, please go ahead. I am sorry whether it is valid question or not, but uh, it's like see, yesterday we already created this complete uh, code, right? Like uh, uh, it's uh, taking the data, extracting, and uh, giving the if-else conditions to retrieve uh, ongoing or status. Mm -hmm. Again, why? Why we are? Uh, I mean, uh, retraining in uh, like uh, as a dispatcher and performer. I mean. Okay, uh, now, so we have 20,000 records, right? Yes. Now, let's say the process is complex and out of 20,000 records, every record takes 30 minutes to process or 15 minutes to process. Okay. Now, can we have a single, uh, like, and I know I need to complete it within one or day or two. Okay. Now, if I have only one robot, can I complete it within one or 24 hours or 48 hours? No, that's not possible. So when we convert this into performer and dispatcher, dispatcher will continuously add items to orchestrator queue. Okay. So there can be, so earlier we have created multiple performers, if you remember. Multiple people yes. can access a single orchestrator queue. Yes. Now in the same way, if we create a single performer, I can add as many robots I want and I can complete the work as fast as I can. Okay. Okay. So that is the concept of multi bot framework. Okay. Did you get it now? Yes, yes, yes. Anyone else have some other question? Okay. So you can make a upstream uh, and copy this project in your local folder and then I'll be creating See uh, there are issues already. So I'll be creating an issue like this is the issue create a new issue <coughs> So 
so everyone can work on the same issue there is no requirement that only one person should work for an issue So what is the last uh, commit that I have done so that I can add it here but here as any I think I cannot add anyone oh, for now you can comment on this and you can add it label is a bug okay so the projects are fix rates uh, so I will add a new project and I will add it okay submit a new issue so in this way I'll create uh, 30 to 40 issues so treat these issues as your work orders you need to assign it to yourself and you need to correct them and you need to comment and say stay that this is completed and you need to link a pull request for it understood so this is uh 233 you can access all the all the items okay for now let's stop this session uh, any questions please come on ask so we are on the third week if i'm not wrong this api should be completed within the third week so next week completely you will work with projects make sure you know everything okay so if there are no questions Thank you so much and have a great day and uh, check with all the bugs and make sure you complete all those bugs. Uh, Vajran, after uh, correcting the bugs, um, can we do um, I, uh, our personal uh, understanding? So dispatcher and performer? Yeah, see uh, here in the first turn I have invoked, right? For the practice process. Yes, for the first turn I have invoked, right? So instead of yeah. uh, adding it in the first one, you can have it as a separate, complete separate project altogether, dispatcher part. Okay. Okay, you can do it. That's fine. Just for, yeah, just for a practice purpose. You uh, can do it. So See, that you I'm not testing you to not, not, to in, not to do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. fine. Just do okay. it. Bye, everyone. Okay. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Vajra.